Yo! How you doing? My name's Big Money, this here's Battlefield 4. Of course, because that's what we do on this channel. And when I call Railway this time with an F2000, ever since I started using this thing, this gun is pretty beast. Need to say, I mean, it, it, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it's like a laser beam. I mean, it's got such a high fire rate, but at the same time, it's very, very accurate and doesn't bounce all over the place like a madman. I mean, you guys know what madmen do. Ninja stab, motherfucker! Been kind of neglecting the old ninja stab as of late, so uh, there's one for you guys. But yeah, uh, like I said, using the F2000, this thing is it's pretty damn good. I was enjoying using it. I started off using the 3.4 scope thing till I eventually took a bullet in the arse, and uh, that was less than enjoyable. But uh, then we switched to the default scope, which the first time I picked it up, I thought it was like, what the f is this? And it turns out it's actually really good. It's much better than the 3.4 time scope, at least anyway. I will apologize for the paint job on the gun, with this scope especially, it looks absolutely horrible. I don't even think I noticed that at the time, I think I only noticed it when I was actually editing this video, I was like, holy shit, that gun looks fucking horrendous. It looks like it's just like made of fabric, you know, like leopard print or some shit, like some really, really tacky stuff you'd see like a, an African drug lord using or some shit. They probably just have gold AKs though, because that's how they roll, seems to be, but um, yeah, we're playing some uh, TDM, Garmin Railway. This is one of the TDM maps that really does work. Sometimes you get some map combos that just don't work whatsoever. It's too open or whatever, but I've consistently said over the time. In fact, Garmin Railway is probably one of the better maps for most game modes, to be honest. It's one of the better maps in the game, and uh... Ninja stab! Oh, shit. Ninja stab, motherfucker! Shit, grenade, get the fuck out of there! As I just volley over the guy's head. <laughs> Uh, that guy had no idea, I'm just like vaulting over his head. But uh, it's Sunday, the 30th of March, and we still don't have naval strike. I don't know what's going on with that, there has literally been no news about that. And uh, I'm hoping that maybe they'll update it, uh, they'll actually put this into the server rotation maybe on Tuesday? I don't actually know. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that they still haven't released this map pack yet. Maybe the, the problems were a bit bigger than I was anticipating when they first initially delayed it. I was expecting it only to be a couple of days it was going to be out of action, but apparently it's kind of major shit and uh, it was worth delaying for at least a week, pretty much. So instead, we get double XP! Yay! I haven't been playing this weekend, so I haven't made use of that whatsoever. It's, the double XP is definitely for someone like me. I'm only like, I level up in this video here to level like 42 or something, or 44, I think. I don't know. We're getting there slowly but surely. I've been meaning to just play more Battlefield and just up that level and unlock lots more new shit that I can actually use. There's a lot of those expansion pack weapons and the career mode weapons. I don't have any of those yet. Uh, the expansion pack weapons, I have some of them, like this weapon here, for example, but uh, I haven't gotten round to actually unlocking everything yet. Kind of lagging behind some other YouTubers, man. Like, as soon as a gun is released, they've got it within, like, five minutes. And I'm still sitting here like, I'm level 44, I don't, I don't have stuff. I mean, Battlefield is a game that I do enjoy playing, but I can't sit and play it for, like, five hours at a time and stuff, like a lot of you guys may possibly do. I, I don't know. I mean, some guys out there play this like at least five hours a day. I'm not really, I'm not really into, into doing that so much anymore. I mean, maybe back in the day, I would, you know, chill out and play some Battlefield or whatever, or play whatever. I just don't play games five, six, seven hours in a row like I used to. I don't know, man. I'm getting old at 22. Notice right here. Uh, there's a guy on the floor right in front of me. At the time, I didn't even see him at first. I was just like, what the fuck? I shot him there and I never even got a kill assist for it, so that cell was awesome. And uh, I actually ran out of ammo for my primary weapon, or I've only got one magazine left. I soon run out of ammo, as you see around here as I come around the corner. This guy had no idea what was going on. And uh, now we're down to our M1911, and I'm still not very sure what I make of the 1911 pistol. It's consistently been one of my favorite pistols uh, throughout the Battlefield titles. But in this game, it's it's kind of weird. I don't know. I think it just shoots a bit slower than it used to or whatever. It doesn't have as much punch. Oh, I'm level 42. I'm talking out my arse. I'm not even level 44. Oh my god. But we'll get there eventually, lads. We'll get there. Like I said, man, the F2000, it's a beast gun. 
it's it's got a really high fire rate, but at the same time, it's like a laser beam. There's not too much recoil on it, I, I, especially with this scope that I'm using at the moment. I, it may actually just be the scope. There's something about the scope where when I'm shooting someone down using this thing, it just feels like there's no recoil or something. I don't know. And it's majestic. I don't know why that was the word that sprang to mind. It's fucking majestic. Why not? One thing about this uh, particular match or game or whatever you want to call it right here. Uh, our team, as you can see on the map, we're pinned into the corner and we were for the whole game. I said to the guys in the chat box, like, guys, try and make it out of the corner. But, but no. I mean, I was breaking out of there every once in a while. And invisible walls, apparently, just there. But, um... Uh, they wouldn't move. I would I would get out there, kill a couple of guys, get killed because I've got no backup, and then I would end up back in the fucking corner again. No one was moving. And there was just this one guy in the other team who was camping by uh, the massive one-shot kill sniper rifle that I forget the exact name for, and I'm not even going to try and attempt it. But the guy was just sitting by it for the whole game because he was just sitting on a roof, popping away, popping away, popping away. He got like a... 25 to 30 kill streak at one point. I was just like, fucking hell, I really wanted to kill the guy, but I never managed to find him when I actually did break through the lines. Just thinking at the time, I was like, is that what this game has become? Someone's just gonna sit there and just spam the shit out of an overpowered weapon that's just one shot kills everyone. I think it was the M82? Is that the name of it? Uh, I forget. The, the big, huge, fuck off 50 cal sniper rifle. That one. Just for anyone who is confused by what I was talking about. But he was just camping by it and you could just hear him firing off rounds over and over again. Half the time it felt like he was shooting at me. How the hell did that guy lose that firefight against me with a 1911? I mean, seriously. Back to the 1911 like I was mentioning earlier on. It, I don't know what it is about the gun. Sometimes it feels awesome. Just I don't know what it is if it's just the sort of how cool the gun looks. I've always thought that about the M1911s in uh, all past games, whether it be Battlefield or anything else. 1911 is a badass looking pistol. But in this game, it doesn't feel as powerful as it used to be. Back in Bad Company 2, when it was a sort of uh, World War II sort of, um, I think it was a veteran weapon along with the M1 Garand and the M1A1 Thompson. Uh, but it was so fucking punchy and powerful, it was pretty fucking awesome. Now I ran out of bullets with my F2000 and I ended up having to pick up this guy's LMG, I think it's the PKP. And uh, it has this nifty, well that's the word I never use, nifty little infrared scope on there. And um, the infrared scopes in this game, I think are fucking awesome. They're so much better than they were in previous games. There's the guy, he kills me with that there. I, I didn't get a chance to read the name of the rifle. But um, that's just all he was doing all game. It was annoying. Brief said note, I want to thank all you guys. Once again, you're probably sick of me thanking you and stuff. But uh, this month, the month of March 2014, has been the most successful month that this channel has ever seen. Uh, with the channel on track to breaking 700,000 views for the month, which for this channel's performance is pretty fucking incredible. So pat yourself on the back, every single one of you. You guys have been awesome with your support on the videos and just I want to say uh, thank you guys. I always like to take the time out to thank you guys for your contribution to this channel But in the end we eventually do lose. Of course we do. We get trapped in the corner and couldn't make it out But uh, I went 35 for 60. Not too bad, but what can you do? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye <laughs>